Hello, thank you for joining me. Today's video is just a short little video about different planners and journals I'm going to be using for 2019. So as I said in my 2018 bullet journal flip through, I'm not going to be bullet journaling in 2019 because for the entire first half of the year I'm going to be studying abroad in Seoul and I'll get into that a little bit more later in the video. So instead of using a bullet journal, I'm just using a good old planner. This planner was actually a late Christmas gift from AJ. Um, it's a shiny Pantone collection planner and I actually really like using it so far. It kind of feels more like a calendar and a planner at the same time. And the paper quality is actually really good. There's almost no ghosting on the other side. I can definitely see myself using this planner for probably the entire year. So this first journal was, first of all, a great Christmas gift from Mitchie, and I'm going to be using it as my travel journal. That sticker in the front is a sticker from NCT's Limitless album, actually, and it's a silhouette of Seoul because I'm going to be studying abroad at Yonsei University. So on the first page, I just have a map of Seoul, and on the other side is my contact information. And these next two pages, on the one side, I drew a kind of crappy rendition of Namsan Tower, and on the other page is cord the coordinates of Seoul, the exact coordinates, and how many days I'm going to be in Seoul for, and um, the amount of miles away that is from New York City. I know, very creative. And that's all I've written in this journal so far, actually. I wanted to keep it pretty blank because it's gonna be my travel journal. I'm basically just gonna be pasting in a ton of stuff, like any ticket stubs, any paper thing that can be put in a journal is gonna go in here. So for my last journal, this is more of a practical sort of travel journal. Um, in this one, the plan is to keep a bunch of lists, basically, of like shopping places, places I like to eat, things I want to buy, places I want to visit. And like in the travel journal on the first page, I just, I put a world map this time because I plan on using this for um, other countries I visit as well. So this is the Seoul page. I have a like faux Korean air ticket. It's not really what my ticket looks like. And then I have a travel playlist that I'm working on curating right now. And all these lists are pretty self-explanatory. My packing list, that's pretty essential so that I don't forget anything that I would really, really need. And I know it looks kind of weird them being like super blank right now, but in a couple weeks probably I'll have them all filled out with a bunch of places and I'm always looking for recommendations so if you have any restaurants, any good shopping areas, any good touristy spots that you know in Seoul, please leave them down below. I would love to hear it and I'll definitely put them on my lists. And that's it. That's all the journals and planners I'm going to be using in 2019. I know it's really not a lot at all but i wanted to keep things super minimal and super simple mainly because for the first you know couple months of the year i'm not gonna be at in my home country and i want to i want to also not bring like a million journals with me to korea and so that pretty much concludes this video thank you so much for watching i'm really excited to show you guys these journals once they get filled up i'll definitely do a travel journal video as soon as i'm back from korea take care i love you all so much goodbye Thank you.